Educated students, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the course of data communications. Students, before we begin with the formal course, I just wanted to give you a brief introduction of the course and what are we going to be covering in this course. Students, data communication ka jo course hai, this is uh, basically about communication. Data can take different forms, but it is about our inherent need for communication. Communication has always been a human need, just like food, water, and shelter from the very beginning of the ancient times. We cannot survive without communication. Students, communication in ancient times uh, took different forms. Um, if you have seen the movie, The Lord of the Rings, the communication was uh, achieved by the use of beacons. Fire was lit at, at a distance uh, by witnessing, by watching that a fire has been lit. The next um, set of fires was lit and the next set and the next set and therefore a message that had a certain meaning, that had a certain relevance to when the fire was lit was communicated from one point to the other point which was thousands of miles away. Students, today the trends and advancements have given us means and ways of communication which are much uh, better than actually using what we used in the ancient times. We don't have pigeons anymore, students. We don't have um, those fires or beacons anymore, students. We have got smartphones. We have got computers. We have got laptops. We have got ability to actually communicate, to send our text, to send our audio, to send our videos from point A to point B in a split second today. Smartphones have been your, um, the part and parcel of your lives today, students. You, you, you sleep with smartphones, you get up with smartphones. Not because you're actually in love with that piece of hardware. It's because humans have got an inherent need to communicate with other people. Students, so data communication goes behind the scenes. All the ways and the means that you use for communication today in this particular course will go behind the scenes and we'll understand or we'll try to understand what happens when you press send um, in an email if you want to send it from point A to point B. What happens when you call, when you pick up your mobile phone and when you call somebody who is present thousands of miles away in a different country, what happens behind the scenes when you dial that number and press dial? Students, what happens when you actually go to Facebook? What happens when you actually go to YouTube? What happens when you go to any multimedia application and you try to stream a video in? When you try to watch a video, how the video um, comes from where it resides, from the server where it lives, all the way to your smartphone screen, all the way to your computer screen. This is what we are going to cover in this course, students. What we'll not cover in this particular course is we will not look into um, things like routing, things like um, software applications, and things like what happens when the uh, information leaves um, your local um, uh, machine or your local sending device, may it be um, the, the smartphone or it, uh, be it the, the, the laptop or anything like that. That part of the information, that part of the, um, the process of communication is what we are going to study in the course of computer networks. Data communication, this particular course, is a prerequisite of the course of computer networks. So combined um, together, these two courses, the course of data communication and the computer networks will complete the whole communication, data communication uh, picture for you, students. Students, uh, a little bit about how to do well in this course. Uh, make sure you actually read the textbook, students. Whatever we cover in the lecture, uh, without wasting a lot of time, make sure that you go to the relevant section in the textbook and make sure you read through um, the particular section from the textbook or the reference books um, that I'm going to recommend to you today. Students, uh, consult the internet. Data communication, specifically this course, um, the information um, has been there for quite some time now. 
We have got well-advanced um, sources of information. We have got lectures um, sitting on YouTube. We have got free sources of information that you can always consult. And how to do well in this course in terms of exams and getting a good grade. Uh, students, make sure um, you do the quizzes at the end of the chapter, relevant chapter in the textbook. Uh, make sure that you try to answer uh, the questions that are given at the end of the relevant chapter in the textbook. And once again, I cannot emphasize it any further. Make sure you give the textbook and the relevant text uh, a very good read once you have covered that. Students, we text in this course. There are two um, textbooks. One is your primary textbook that, uh, that, that you'll have to consult uh, after every single lecture that I'm going to deliver. And then the other one is a reference textbook. So let's show you what the textbooks are that we are going to be using in this book. Students, the first textbook is uh, Data Communication and Networking. The name of the author is Behrose A. Forosa. And students, this is going to be our primary textbook that we are going to be following in this particular course. Textbook is huge. It covers a lot of curriculum and syllabus from a communication and networking perspective. As I told you just a little while ago, we will cover the data communication part of it and we'll leave the networking portion for our follow-on course, which is computer networks. If you don't understand what's the difference between data communication and networking, so don't worry about it. I will introduce you to those two concepts, how they are distinct from each other and why we have got one full course in your degree program to cover data communication and why we have separated out the networking and we have got a separate standalone computer networks course to cover that part. So we will cover a part of this primary textbook, students. So students, the second textbook that we are going to be using for this course, it's a reference book. It's not the primary text. So you can decide not to buy it if you want, is Data and Computer Communication by William Stallings. This book is a reference book that I'm going to be using occasionally uh, to provide you with further clarity on some of the topics. And uh, if you don't buy this book, then make sure that you've got access to at least the slides and further information that's available free of charge for the students on this book's website. So students, this was a bit of an introduction of the, of the course. Um, data communication is a very interesting subject. Um, I used to love it when I was a student of it, and I'm pretty sure if you want to make a, a career for yourself in the field of communication, be it data communication or be it networking, then you will really enjoy this course. Students, in the lecture, mein, we'll start um, our, our uh, course formally and we'll dive deep um, into the course further. Till then, Allah Hafiz.